I've got to type some things up. And, yeah. Miss you. I miss you. I love you. Hey, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hi. Hi, everybody. I've got a special treat today with a translator named Dimash Mash. I translate. He's going to read your comments for me because, you know, it gets real action packed around here. and You do. Um, bah, bah, bah. So, last we left Tomb Raider, we were about to head up into more story mission stuff. Every time I play the new one, I got to double check. I remember the rolls. Oh no, we went in there. We came back out. And we got this uh, Baba Yaga mission unlocked. That pink thing. That one's a really fun one. We should do that today. Because today's will be a shorter stream. As I am in the middle of tech week. We're about to open my play. So yeah. Uh. How's everybody else? How are you all? Well, we got Dimash Smash in the chat. He says hello. Hi, Dimash Smash. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Playing some D2 here, finishing up this story mission. How are you doing, Madfish? I'm good. Um, just I'm busy, good. busy. Yeah, and people just need me all the time. Right, right. I'm like, chances are I'm streaming. Just hop on YouTube. Come find me there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we got Scottish Rod in the chat. Hello, wave, smiley face. Hey, Scottish Rod. Thanks for uh, letting me play D2 with you guys. Tagging along is lots of fun. <laughs> Don't shoot. I'm with Jacob. He told us to wait for you, but these bastards found us first. Oh, jeez. Sorry, man. Oh, God. Are you all right? I'll live. Scott Shroud says, always, oh, thumbs up and a greedy face. The invaders return. There's a cave across the bridge over there. A wolf den. They won't look there, but I can't clear it out on my own. Not like this. If you... She's silent. Them, We'll have a safe place to regroup. Well, I'm listening to the guy. I even have something oh, for that sorry. pistol of yours. Can you help us? Yeah. Yes. Of course, I'll help you. Stay out of sight. I'll be back. Thank you. Jacob was right. Yeah, he gives you some good stuff too, doesn't he? Well, we got to clear out the wolf den first. Do not for... let the target slip away. We need to know why they were following Bravo. Bravo hasn't run into any more resistance along the way. Oh. Find the native. Moving into cover. Get some answers. Under fire. Mm. Beeble bumps in the chat says thumbs up as usual. Hey Beeble. Hey Beeble. Thank you for coming by the chat today. Oof, we're gonna need some berries. This guy just keeps like, announcing everything he's doing. <laughs> Where is this guy? Oh, you are right there. Doing too well. Scottish Red says, Hi, people. I need some freaking berries so I can make some healing potions. Healing Get you potions, some berries, girl. bandages, whatever I need. I'm not seeing any around here. Where did he go? James DeCourcy's in the chat, says, Hi there, I arrived to find you in a tight spot. 
You did. You did. <laughs> Hi. How are you? How are you, James? Howdy there. Hey. Hey, buddy. buddy. Got him. <laughs> Beeple Bum says, hey, Rod, and hello, Moose and James. Oh, Moose, I'm sorry I missed you there, buddy. Moose says hello. Well, howdy, Moose. stuff in there. Oh, there's a person hiding. Um got to be hiding in here somewhere. Maybe there's a trail. Blood. The hurt. Stop! No closer! I'm not with Trinity. My name is Lara and your gun isn't loaded. I can see the cylinder is empty. Scottish Rod says hi Moose and James. Beeple Bum editing editing the YouTube tutorial at Scottish Rod. Moose says all good. How is everybody doing? Scottish Rod says fantastic. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale where the witch Baba Yaga lives. I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. All right, we gotta find her grandpa. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. Oh, thank you. Are you guys getting an echo from me at all? Because I'm hearing an echo for myself. Maybe I need to turn my mic sensitivity down? Maybe. Okay. James says, doing well. Gardening day and taking a cool break. Nice. Oh, look. Here's that medicinal flower we needed. Next time we're hurting, we can... That's the one difference between the first game and this game. That's a big one, is getting to heal yourself instead of auto heal. Moose says, small one. Small echo. Yeah, Small so I'm echo. gonna have to turn down my uh I think I should turn mine down, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry guys. Just going back and forth between headsets is a little Go ahead and talk, Maddie. Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Right. That should do it. Who says nice gardening is so relaxing. Heck yes it is. And it is hot out there today. So this is the wolf cave that guy was talking about. So we're going to clear it for him and then go search for that girl's grandpa. I am not seeing any wolves yet. Oh, here we go. James says, I sent out five letters. <gasps> five Floridians. Ah! Oh my gosh. Evil Bum says, is this the Baba Yaga extension? No. I think it is. She's really uh, we're not doing great. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I can't see anything. Yeah, the Baba Yaba extension, um, this is not a part of it. I'm clearing this cave and then I'm going to go do the Baba Yaga. Getting those good resources. So yeah, that should have been all the wolves. I guess this was a, a little circle that I found myself in. Take a look around, because there's sometimes going to be... Mm. There we go. Yeah, like in the rocks of caves, you'll get this ore. You want those resources, too. 
What is that? Oh, James sweet. says, also prepping more to go out just before the November election in multiple states. Sweet. Doing your part. So great. Alright, so I think we just gotta go back and tell him that the cave is clear. And he was... yeah, right down here. Did you clear out the cave? Yeah. The cave is clear. If you head there now, you'll be safe. Thank you. Here, take this. Jacob told us to protect you, but... You weren't the one who needed it. <laughs> cool. And we got pistol sights, weapon attachments. Well, remember to smoosh that like, everyone. Why, thank you. I know Beeble did. He's the thumb master. I forgot to like my own stream. Oh, glad I said something. Alright, so the Baba Yaga quest. We talked to the girl. She said, go find my grandpa. It's over by this pink marker. People says, I thumbed as soon as I came in here, winky face. <laughs> He's a pro. <gasps> oh, that scared me. <laughs> ah. That is a Siberian tiger. Because we're in Siberia, guys. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I missed. I missed with my poison arrow. Uh, okay, maybe we can get him with this. Uh, apparently not. Apparently Siberian Tigers. We did it. And it's, what is it? Hold. It just told me. I need to craft more poison arrows. There we go. Just in case, you know, there's another Siberian tiger, we will try not to miss with a poison arrow next time. But that's gonna take some rope arrows to get through. People Bum says it looks more like a leopard. There's a trail here, well worn. Yeah, he was kind of <gasps> leopard like. Oh. Siberian leopard? Is that a thing? Hmm, a snow leopard? The bum says a tiger should be much bigger in real life. <laughs> yeah. James says, got my hit of cool from the snow Laura, and off to Goodwill in my condo. I'm the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Uh, have a good uh, afternoon and drive safe. From here while yeah, I patch myself up. safe up there. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. Good to have you in the chat. No leopards, says people bum. Puma, says Moose. Ooh. So, we've got two skill points to unlock. Enemies killed or knocked out from crafted handheld objects yield more XP. Let's do that. I'll take one of those. Uh, gain a chance at recovering arrows. Simultaneously fire up to two arrows at separate locked targets while zoomed in with a fully drawn bow. That's crazy. Fully charged bow anything remains steady for significantly longer. I'll take that. I like that.
inventory upgrade. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Deeble Bloom says, I mean, it could be the game developers decided that was a tiger, but it was too sleek and small to be a tiger. Tigers are a bit more bulky and larger. I feel like Beeble Bum's been around real tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Which would make sense. You're crazy about big cats, Beeble. Are you the Tiger King, Beeble? <laughs> There's actually a big cat park near where we live. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Beeble Bum says, I'm kind of crazy about big cats. Yeah, that's, I saw that one. Winky face, he says. What more can you tell me about the wicked veil, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the veil. But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house. Evil Bum says, I actually held a small tiger in my arms when I was young. You believe all that? The house with the bird and legs. That would be so cool. I trust Grandpa. He was in the gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the veil to help them to study hold the ruins. A tiger. Oh. The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. But a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? It sounds unlikely. Just be careful. Something is in the veil. Nothing good happens in that place. All right. So you guys hear that? That's uh, the veil. Is where we're going. Dangerous place with a witch, Baba Yaga. Bum says, not sure how you call it in English. It was a kitten. So damn cute and soft. <laughs> yeah, little tiger kitten, yeah. Aww. Did it did it nibble on your fingies? <sighs> no need to go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. No need to go in there. What do you mean? That's probably... So that's going to be the hidden tomb. What is that sound? And then this will... Baba Yaga's down here. Oop. ceremonial cloth worn by priests during mass. Cool. <laughs> very safe. Very safe. This. This walking mechanism. <laughs> A 
Lol, no, it also did not purr. I think it was very stressed with all the people around them. Aww. Grandpa's little uh, resting place we found. Okay, so we know we're on the right track. Looks like Grandpa tried to come down here. Grandpa's probably not a very good climber. Just guessing. People Vote says, Old, when older you Yaga. come to think about these I think things differently. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. Very true. I got to ride an elephant. And now you already know. I am going into the veil. To so bad for the witch. witch. Baba, Baba Yaga. Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley. Armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want. But I know. If I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth. To know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the west, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in the big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth watch men and women work and starve and die to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. Mm. You read it to yourself, man? Nope. nope. Everybody can hear it. <laughs> oh, it's read out loud. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. This is, see? This is the things translators have to think about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm learning the, the fine art of manlating. <laughs> Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. <laughs> at first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here. If this looks like a big find, that discovery bonus is as good as ours. <laughs> discovery bonus. I wonder what that means. They get brownies. They get Trinity brownies. This is what I like about Tomb Raider. They read out the whole thing. So easy to stream it. Yeah, it's true. I like it. It gives me a chance to, like, snack on things. <laughs> <laughs> what are all these pretty flowers? Is a LCS. <laughs> so we breathe in a bunch of pollen, no, guys. Must be dreaming. It isn't real. It can't be. You're definitely not dreaming. You're tripping balls, Laura. Just keep moving. And your instincts don't work in this area. <laughs> Laura, Laura. Dad? No, it can't be. No, wait. I'm close, Laura. I'm close, Laura. I'm close. Creepy, says people. Wait, where yeah. am I? How, how far does this path go? I want a new Uncharted, damn it. It's <laughs> not real, not him. Did you ever get into Uncharted Game? I did. Oh, I tried to play the one with the women. Got to get out of here. Um, but I just I didn't get too far. 
I think there some other game caught, caught my attention. But I've heard they're really fun. I and I could, did enjoy what I did play. No. Whoa. No, this isn't. Oh. Who are you? Why are you doing this? Stop! God damn you, stop! For me, it's just Luce says, Uncharted is so good. Demon Bum says, Uncharted is my favorite series. Oh. Someday. Someday. Oh no! Ah! People Bum says, Nathan Drake is such a funny and great character. Which one you want about, Bibi? <laughs> yeah, so there's a chicken house, guys. And a big, like a witch. Oh, oh god. The game is letting me do that because I am just. There's just an ungodly amount of wolves going on here. I feel like I need to like run, maybe. Ugh. Okay, okay, something's gotta give. There's gotta be a way out. Right? We can't just get eaten forever. Okay, there's no way out that way. Can't I shoot? Uh, Nora, why won't you shoot things? Oh my god. Okay, so I have no weapons apparently. Bum says all of them loose, or you ask them. My favorite. Uh, Beeple Bump says, I think you need to kill them all. I feel like I killed them all. If I recall correctly. Ugh. Just. It is so hard. Oh, 
So look, this looks like a witch. I never held my daughter. They took her from me on the surgeon's table. I tried to fight, but they are many and I am weary. Then they dragged me away split our three hearts apart. They have taken me to a hidden vale where ancient ruins stand. They tell me if I cooperate, I will see my family again. I will never trust these monsters, but I do not have a better plan. There are curious flowers here. Exposure to the pollen has left my captors rattled, and they will go no further than our little outpost. They brought me here in the hopes that my expertise in botany would help them find a counter-agent. <laughs> At last, the state has a use for me. I nod and smile. I play the part. But they cannot break me again. For my daughter. For Ivan. I will live. Hmm. Serafima. This is the grandma. That the grandpa went looking for. Someone's been in here recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit! Of course. Who says, okay, yeah, I have, and played them all. What is your thing? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. Ooh, okay. Hmm. love the artwork around here. Who cool says just... mine is a thieves end? It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Ivan and my daughter, to this strange vale. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant. The liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins. A phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. 
may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic, bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. I found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be from my People says, yeah, the Thieves' End is surely a great one, but I think I actually enjoyed the third one most. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Laura. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. Okay. Cool, so we're gonna go make an antidote for the psychotic effects of those flowers. Love the rope ascender. Yeah, the thieves' end is surely a great one, but I think I actually enjoyed the third one most. Sweet, I think we're not sure the collection may be on sale on PSN. Says Bruce. Hey now, Manny, that's, that's, that's a good idea. Oh, so many things coming up to buy. I know. There's a bunch of stuff on sale that we bought before. <laughs> I know. Plus PS5 coming out. Yeah. This must have been a sensor to burn in. People bump says I have all of them anyway. Modified. Minky face. Hmm. <laughs> Pardon me, guys. Sorry. Let's so start doing that. I know. It's too early for that. Let's see. Maybe down. There it is. Nice. All right. People says, I actually think the trilogy was, trilogy was on PS Plus for free four months ago. <laughs> okay, cool, LOL, says Bruce. Which one of those do we have, Maddie? We've got one of those games, don't we? Yeah, the one with the ladies. Is that the one we've got? Yeah. All right, Nadia, I'm back at the Is it down here in the stack? Any advice over next to you. Looking. Okay, first, the seed pods. The flowers grow inside the caves around there. There's never enough of them to make you sick, so you should be able to gather some safely. The livers should be easy. The deer are on their feet on the flowers, so you'll just need to track them down. As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find Yeah, them. the lost legacy. Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifests to see if I can find well, out maybe I'll have to give that I'll a, a shot sometime. Alright, I'll start gathering the other supplies now. Yes, it was, scissors. But it's not there anymore. Dang. See is the girls. Two deer livers. Oh, that one's just laying down for me. Little Bambi. 
Wow, you really are taking a bunch of arrows. <sighs> Dang it. It's laughing at me. Evil Bob says, oh dear, oh dear. Ah. Oh. So, my question is, how come the baby one takes like five hour arrows, and these bucks just take one? I don't even need more. I just want to shut it up at this point. Ugh. Okay. Uh, then what else do we need? We need some flowers. Oh, got a little GPS guy right here. See the little glow? Evil Bum says because you shot it in the back. You need the heart for one shot kill. Ah, gotcha. Who says, dim work, Wi-Fi always puts me like a minute behind. Should be caught up now, though. So... What? Mm. Well, what the heck? I don't know how to get in there. Oh great. More wolves. Flowers. Just need the seed pods now. Laura, I got something you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. We haven't got any transmission since the distress call. We're gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved in Bravo's disappearance somehow. We need better intel before we send more of you in there. Copy that. Can you get somewhere safe? I'm in one of those old safe houses, and I have stairs set outside. Worst case, there's a tunnel underneath I can use to escape, but I still need to finish going over the manifest. Is this normal for you, Laura? I'm not used to it. You know, people trying to kill me. I don't think it's something you can get used to. Just stay safe. Mm, wait, I missed it. There it is. Go 
here's some more. when I'm a minute behind, Moose. <laughs> I feel like I'm a minute behind all the time. Soviet soldiers. Something awful happened here. Goodness gracious. More propaganda. Work hard to fight cold and hunger. Ooh, let's do a quick save there. I think about Dad every day. For years, I was so angry with him for losing himself in his work, for chasing what I thought were fairy tales. Hmm. I had no idea. I keep telling myself that I was young, upgrade available. that I couldn't understand, but I still lost him. And now, for some reason, I feel more connected to him than I ever did when he was alive. He never got this far, but I know he's with me. The divine source is here. And I'm going to find it. He knew that it could change the way we understand a human soul. That it could change the world. But he's gone now. And I'm the only one left who knows he was right. Base of the old Soviet mill. I'm making my way to the mine entrance at the top of the facility. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Bobby McGee is in the chat and says hello, Madfish. Hello, Bobby McGee. How are you, Ben? Well, so, hey, Bobby. Bobby says he's doing good. Another sculpture. But this one looks like a game. Hmm. These pieces look familiar. Tetris. No, I've seen something like this before. Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Heiderbeck's in the chat. Someone says a game made by. 
I'm taking that as men. <laughs> a game made by men. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Papa McGee says, I am off on Thursday to Mash and Madfish. Want to join me in No Man's Sky? I'll be working Thursday, but, but thank you for the invite. Yeah, maybe if I get on after my art stream. I have my painting tutorial on Thursdays. And I'm also about to open a play that I'm directing in real life. It's Tech Week, and we open on Friday. So I might be unavailable most of the day, getting things totally prepared for the opening night. Spiderbeck says, hey now. Moose Gaming says, hello, Bobby and Biter. Oop. Captain Steve, hi, Madfish to mash in the chat. Hi, Captain Steve. Howdy, Captain. Welcome, welcome. Day? All right, we're looking for chemicals on the lower level. Moose says, whoop, whoop, can't wait to see that play. Spiderback says, hey, Cat. Moose came and says, hello, Captain. Hello, Moose, says Bobby McGee. Almost to 900 light level, you guys. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Captain Steve says, where are the tombs at? <laughs> well, we were sort of in a tomb earlier, weren't we? Yeah. Fighterbeck says, I'm going to train up to Mash and Maddie to take you on at Captain Steve. <laughs> uh -huh. Bobby McGee says, today is my birthday. I am 38. Hey, happy birthday, Bobby McGee. Happy birthday, buddy. Good number there. So, I'm just not seeing... Oh, there we go. Bob McGee says thank you. We're doing... There's a storyline called Baba Yaga that we're doing, Captain. And... Found it. I'm mixing the ingredients now. We are making an antidote so we don't trip balls. They're on the move. Where are they now? They're... Oh, no. They're headed straight Well, Happy B Day says, Moose Captain Steve says, I have been killed a number of times in the people by snow obsidian. Moose says, today is his oldest's birthday as well. Nice. Well, happy birthday to your kiddo, man. That's awesome. Excuse me while we make some ammo. Uh, I do not have a lot of ammo on these other weapons, so... I deleted Red Dead Madfish to install Destiny. I won't be on tomorrow, sorry. Aw, well that's alright, bud. Got the new DLC today. We'll watch, though, and be in the chat, says Capstie. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna be trying out that new DLC for Red Dead. Yeah, instead of Perma tonight, it's Red Dead, the new, the new DLC there. Uh, oh. They're just coming from behind me. <laughs> Moose says, oh no, Cap, that sucks. <laughs> Hello, Captain Steve, says Bobby McGee. Alright, so now 
we go back into the cave. We have the antidote to the flower pollen. And whatever that witch is brewing. Let's see. My memory serves. Is it... Was it this one? Where's my little pink Baba Yaga marker? I do not see it. Captain Steve says, I deleted Destiny to install Dreams, and Dreams frazzled my brain. It's cool, but it's too hard for me. Yeah, I haven't even picked it up yet, man. Might not for a while. We need so much other stuff, aren't we, man? Yeah. So many games to play. So what the heck? Uh I am so confused right now. Where is the Baba Yaga marker? I mean I thought we had to go back to the cave, so I really don't want to mess about with those wolves again. Good, they're scared of me now. Um. Oh, it's the Siberian Tiger Cave. Except it's not a Siberian Tiger. The Snow Leopard. The Snow Leopard. <laughs> Hey, Captain, there's a tomb up here. <laughs> Siberian Tiger sounds far better. Roll with that. <laughs> Hi, Michael Stapp. I am well. I am well. How are you? Boy, you're quick with the chat, Maddie. I don't need to be here. <laughs> well, sometimes if I'm, like, in crazy battle sequences... Right. It's nice to have. And, you know, we get to hang out. Right. Almost walked off a cliff. Captain Steve says, Doom time equals necrophilia time. Doom <laughs> 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 time with Tim Allen. <laughs> It does that every time. that that worked. Ooh, that's dark, says Moose. I just dropped a lung from my backside when walked that chasm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> dropped a lung. <laughs> Yeah, don't look down. <laughs> it's 
that indicated some stuff for us in the area. Sort of a shrine. Pilgrims came here to Cap Steve respect. says, OMG, this would make me cry in VR. <laughs> Cap Strat says, Hi, Cap Steve. Without this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all. But most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains. No food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself. But the scout heard the sound. <laughs> Captain Steve says, dropping a lung <laughs> is when you gasp and fart at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and there, he saw our salvation. This is not just a shrine oh, to him and his bravery, but to the strength of our faith. Bob says, ha ha, he's laughing. Says, hey, Cap, Steve. Sorry, guys. is frozen. I know there's a way up there. Hi, all that said hi. Lurking while getting ready for bed, says Captain. Casually chatting to herself. Nice, <laughs> this captain. <laughs> yeah, she's she's cool like that. Oh, damn, it's not going to do any good at that level. Uh, that's right. There's some other trick to this. There we go. Well, Maddie, I'm entering into a big boss fight, so I might be spotty on the comments. Okay. Cap Steve says, could be why she's still single. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. It's only not because she's ugly. Right. That is, she no doubt killed all the men that so much as dropped a lung in her presence, <laughs> says Kevin Steve. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> LOL, says Moose. She's like, you can't handle this? You farted and gassed in front of me at the same time? wait for the wind to blow and let it go we're gonna wait for Captain Steve to drop a lung and drop this <laughs> oh what got to time that a bit better oh 
Screw you, Laura. Ugh. Terrible. This is terrible. Come on. <laughs> if real life Laura said I loved you in life, you know it would happen. Said Cat and Steve. Yeah. Might be so shocked I just drop a whole deuce. <laughs> I mean, you're a real life Laura Croft, Maddie. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh. Almost. Then instant death. <laughs> So it seems we need to go just before the wind. Uh, so here we go. Uh, now. Ah Sweet. Yes, Cap, you are right, sisters. Double lung drop, sis Cap. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do the thing. Do as you told. Uh, do I have to do more? Do more? No, no, no. Not down, not down. Fighting the Panoptes. Unbelievable. It's a natural formation. Wow, cool. Look at that erosion. An organ erosion. Ooh, my dual shot controller's going crazy. So much vibrations, guys. Look at this real tomb raiding, Captain. It's a codex. This one is a someone likes being freaking. Someone likes building freaking big doors. Kind of think a giant is going to appear any minute now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big doors. Uh, do, do, do. Health will be automatically restored. This instant regeneration of health will occur only one time per com combat encounter and will refresh between encounters. Right on. Cool. That's a nice skill to have gained. Oh, that was something we can pick up. Oof. My hands are tingling. My dual shock was vibrating so hard. Almost died. Oh, did die, apparently. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, oh man. All the way back here, huh? Well, I'll try not to screw up this time. I was being reckless. <laughs> Gotta take this slow. <laughs> and I think we can save real quick. Cool. And then... 
With all that ice, it would have slipped over a million times. I'm like a raptor on an oil slick when it snows in the UK. <laughs> That's quite an image. So, we just took our antidote, hoping that we won't be tripping as we walk through these flowers. It's working, Nadia. Everything looks normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. Scarecrows, of course. Wow. The fuse made all them dang fires? The fumes? Huge. Get all them dang fires. Maddie? Hmm? You know what that means? This can't be the same place. I was lost in here. I'm not sure what Camp Steve means by that. Hmm. Half expected him to still be here. Yeah, Did last time we were down here, we were tripping. And she was seeing her dad walking around every corner. Screwdriver, misplaced paperwork. Wow, the environmental transitions is never balanced. Fuse equals fudge. Oh, wow, the fudge made all them dang fires. I see. She spoke up, took the blame. They beat her mercilessly. But I was saying, Yeah, the environment trans transitions are amazing. Um, they did a really, really great job on this game. told me I had to risk my life for nothing. Challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. So Gave this is no credit um, little acts of disobedience. Nadia's grandpa describing Seraphima, the woman he married. Crushed hope, and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day, I did not fight it with my whole heart. She said. So I was late and drinking wine. <laughs> she demanded. All good. Because she knew. Cheers. I was capable. It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. Yeah, so he he was like an overseer, beating people, and then fell in love with her. She starts like, um, you know, she's like, you could do more. Uh, so Grandma wasn't like taking none of it. It's like I'm I'm trying to be a. This is Trinity gear. Must have walked right past it last time. It's all wrong. She, she has some odd family man, roots. Man, what man. accent is that? Lost <laughs> Lost Parker. Just gone. No trace. Can't trust the eyes. Seeing things. Corpses. Worse. Things that walk. So huge they hide the stars. Oh, can't tell what's real. Not sure there is a real. Is it the eyes? The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! Ooh. He's killing his own buddies. No bodies, though. Maybe they're still alive in here. Nadia, what do you know about the this? Giants about called it. <laughs> Thor's explained. Yeah. People avoided the veil. Founders were building a shrine out there, but something happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that place is still deadly. We decided to wait until winter passed. We hid supplies. We made maps. We planned. I got her a work detail indoors. She helped me find ways to slow the grinding gears of the Gulag. If I could disable a hydraulic lift, I could keep a hundred men from one day in the mines. Cut the wiring of a few trucks. There would be no special work projects for another week. I took greater risks, but once I had met your grandmother, I could not return to the sin of ignorance. We knew the, the sin of ignorance. I escape. like that. And she hid it. Yeah, she says she sounds like a vampire. Yeah, yeah. Them, yeah. <laughs> they took her away. Our daughter was given to a nursemaid among the native prisoners. And they dragged Seraphima away to the veil. I tried to 
stop them. Fighting in the open, I stood in front of the transport truck, prepared to kill to save her. But there were too many of them. I screamed my farewell as they dragged me away. And I don't know if she heard. Oh, so sad. All right, these are wolves. We now know they aren't Just phantom wolves. wolves. Damn. I'm up on the first of the ruins now. This doesn't look like a shrine. This was something functional. I see ropes and wooden gears. The founders built lifts elsewhere in the valley to move people or supplies. Good night, all, says Captain Steve. Good night, buddy. Good night, Captain Steve. Be what it is. See if you can make your way up to the top. I'll be right. It's dark. Thanks for popping the by. Out there. I can hear them panting. Moment of clarity, but it's slipping, coming less frequently. We're sick, poisoned, something. Doesn't matter. Forgot why we came here. Forgot where we were before. Barely remember who I am. Someone else here. Walking amongst us as we grovel and weep. A spirit. A goddess. A demon. She is whispering. We listen. Listen. I'm in the canyon now. I'll let you know when I've arrived. Cool. Maybe I can anchor a rope on that pulley. Mm, yeah, so we're gonna try, I think, mm, how does this work again? Cap says, no props, the game actually looks great and the story is great. Scottish Rod says, night captain. It is kind of fun, and the puzzles, you know, if you like puzzles, these are really good, fun, interactive, puzzling type of uh, gameplay, so... <laughs> I'm currently puzzled. <laughs> um, oh, that's right. Let's see. Do this. And then... What happens when I... Got Mighty Monarch in the chat. Howdy, Mad Fish in the chat. What's going on, M.M.? Hi, Mighty Monarch. So, let's see. It's only going to stay that way for a second, though. Ah! Oh, so close. Okay, Maddie, I'm going to step away from doing comments for a second so I can go switch our laundry out. Okay. If I remember... Oh, yeah. I think another way to do it is... I get this as far as it can, then wait. To do that. Oh man, I think it's still gonna be too high. I waited just a second too long. Yeah. Dang it. This is, I remember what this one was quite frustrating when I did it before. fire another arrow. You can only have one connected at a time, so yeah, I'll just go away. Okay, and then do this faster. Because we want to be able to So that we can... Yes, this one. So that brings that one up. 
Uh, oh, but it doesn't stay. at all. Mm, that's right. Okay, so... We have to get... There's a second step to it. second step. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, because, let's see. Mm. Sorry guys, this, uh, this one's a perplexing <laughs> puzzle. Mm. Not this. That. Right, are you caught up on your comments? No. Sorry, I've been super like. It's all good. Scottish Ross says hi, Mighty. Hey, Scottish Rock. Yay. Good job, Maddie. And oof, this does look a tad puzzling, says Mighty. Scottish yeah. Ross says, guess you forgot to have something to eat. Uh-oh. Was it you, Scottish Run? So, because, see, guys, look, from over there, once we get that platform up, we have to have these in the correct position to be able to hop up there. And so we have to let... that... go... Uh, it's almost impossible. I, I think I had to look this one up. I might have to end off the stream and come back to this one at the beginning of next Tuesday, guys. Rot says pizza time. Pizza, yay! Pizza does sound good. I love pizza. So, if I bring this up. And then... Oh my god, this is, yeah, very, very, very perplexing. Would you like me to Google it? No. Oh. oh, it might be more simple than I'm making it. Who knows? Maybe not, though. Mm. Uh, Who says stop it? I'm hungry now. <sighs> oh, 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 okay. I'm using my head. Thinking smarter, not harder. Maybe I can use one of these ropes to get back up. Shh. Now you say it after I figured it out, Laura. 
What did she say? Maybe I can use one of these ropes to get back up. She's holding out on me. But then it, this isn't high enough for me to get up. Maybe you can use one of those ropes to get back. I'm bloody starving. I haven't eaten in 10 hours. I oh my god. Okay, I think it's just that we have to freeze it in a different spot. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Oh, this one's super complex, guys. That's good for you. Yeah, it is. So we want to let this one go, but... Uh, let's see. The perfect... Height differentiation. I think I can make that. All right, so now we go. Bada bing, bada boom, and pop this here. Turn the thingamajig. Put some bubble gum in it. That's Just wrong. kidding. There's no bubble gum. Ah, oh, Laura, you freaking bitch. <laughs> Guys, it's just a little too far of a hop. <sighs> One more time. As Goofy would say, don't, don't give up! Hmm. <laughs> Did I do it the same? Oh no, it's nice and flat across. That should work, I hope. So nice and flat across. That's what we want. No? No. It's not high enough. Frack! Alright, so like splitting the difference between the two? Or I just like sucked at jumping the first time? Ugh. Maybe I can just grab it really quick. It's hard to aim and also look at the thing you need to, like, position. Okay. Alright. One past even. Even. One past. Alright. That better freaking work. I'm just getting so tired of that. Okay. Uh, hopefully we'll just get it this time. Okay, we need to be quick. Whew, we did it. Great job.
Oh. It's totally a thing that we weren't doing in this area. That we should have been doing. See more of those? Did I miss any? Maybe that was the first couple. Alright, let's see. Whoa. Look at that! Hello. The witch has kept the lift running all this time. It looks like she even made a few improvements, but I don't think those ropes will survive any more trips. It only needs to make one. Two. I'd like to come back down. Why am I not says woot? Woot! Yes. I am very pleased that that worked out. Ride the gondola across the valley. Okay. Try pulling that lever over on the platform. Pull the lever on the platform, okay. So we are gondoling. And keep an eye out for those. Your witch is clever. Everything in this veil is arranged to perpetuate the myth of Baba Yaga. And the pollen does the rest. The last time I saw the lift, it looked nothing like this. And what did you see? Just as the legend says house walking on giant bird legs but without the pollen it's just an old contraption i'm sorry i was so sure of she's russian someone who knew the myth well nadia it's possible that your grandfather will know who she is he was a prisoner in the gulag you said. i didn't say that not exactly grandpa was a god my grandmother was the prisoner she was a brilliant scientist and they brought her out to the veil to help study something in the ruins when the witch came. Grandpa never Killing the witch won't bring her back. Ah. I understand. Dang it, I missed one. Let's just hope we can reach him in time. Oh, yeah, I won't be able to get it. I mean, this might be a fun thing to do again. would have to. The first time Godfrey's got on my lap in the new chair. Aww. Nadia, That's... come quick! We found Grandpa! Nadia? Oh! Uh, it, it's the pollen. Here, let me. Grandpa, can you hear me? I tried. I couldn't save her. I tried. Shh, it's okay now. I'll stay with him, Laura. It's time. You only have one more dose remaining. Make it count. All right. Search the cave for the wind. Guys. I have got to go do some things, but we've got a great cliffhanger here. We found Grandpa. We've got to go fight a witch. I'm going to save that for next Tomb Raider. <laughs> Leave you guys wanting more. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we will figure out the mystery of this Baba Yaga witch lady next Tomb Raider Tuesday. 900 and D2 comfy lead. Nice. Biterbeck. Is that Biterbeck's number or your number, hun? Um, I don't know. Let me see my number. 880. Nice. Getting close. Well, good, good. Uh, thanks, Biterbeck. Thank you. Thanks, <laughs> and Mighty Monarch. 
as soon as you got here, pretty much. Um, don't forget to smoosh the like, guys. I am so looking forward to the rest of this week. Uh, we got RDO tomorrow, leading the Mad Fisher's Posse Roundup. And we'll be exploring the new DLC, which is going to be a lot of fun. We're also going to do that tonight instead of permadeath, me and Dimash. So come and come to that and see you later this evening then. Uh, Thursday I have my painting stream. There's still time to post some inspirational photos in my Discord, the NMS screenshots tab. Uh, I did see a great one from Moose just, just the other day. I love that. That might be the one this week. So be sure to check that out. Um, then Friday, we got weekend mission day. And lots to look forward on the weekend. So good, good, good. What are you, what are you doing over there, Dimash? Having some fun on D2? I'm paying Goffy. Aww. He's getting the lovin's. Yeah, he's cuddled up on my lap. Galarak, lap. only saw about 10 minutes, but thanks for the stream. You're welcome, Galarak. Uh, and and Beeblebum, you're welcome too. I can already guess who the witch is. I know, right, Beeblebum? Galarak just got here, and I'm sure Galarak already knows. Galarak's really good at guessing those things. <laughs> so, Mighty Monarch. Okay, next Tuesday, bring your pitchfork and torches, guys. It's a witch hunt! Yes, yes. She's made of very small rocks. Um, Bidermech, no, I gotta grind more. Yay, save Grandpa's stream, can't wait. <laughs> the scream with a geck. Ah, nice, great stream. You guys are so sweet. I appreciate all of you so much. <laughs> Scottish Rod was here. Captain Steve's off to bed, bye. And, uh, let's see, who else was here? Well, Dimash, of course. Michael Stapp. Bobby McGee. I thank you all. Yeah. Well, guys, take care, enjoy your evening, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.